to refer to that, that I highly appreciate all the um, attempts uh, throughout all my time that I've known and interacted with each and single one of you, um, pronouncing, trying to pronounce my difficult name correctly. And sometimes, even though it's not perfect, um, the intent is what matters. So I, I really appreciate the, um, yeah, all the efforts behind it. And please be um, kind to me if I mispronounce some of your words, because <laughs> that is also something what um, I'm trying to learn, and it doesn't, uh, it, it's not as easy as sometimes uh, I would thought it would be. Tenakoto Katwa, ko tene waiwa no Legnica, Poland, ko tene waiwa no Aberystwyth, UK. Ke roto au ite sustainable value tima, he assistant manager ahau o KPMG Inoa, ko Iva ahau, no reira tena koto katwa. Thank you. <laughs> so it's been an absolute privilege to attend this conference and learn about um, how far this challenge has come, especially being involved from uh, the first phase of this challenge uh, throughout the second one and seeing how much this research and the rela relationships created throughout this challenge has grown. Um, it was absolutely amazing to, to listen to all the uh, presentations throughout this conference. One thing that I wanted to bring our attention to is that business perspective. And um, in the business community, a lot of conversations right now are around that, um, you know, we need to uh, step on the right track to arrive at the sustainable future uh, for Aotearoa New Zealand. But at the same time, this vision is never going to happen if we don't embrace the role of the oceans in actually getting us to that sustainable future. And I would take it even one step further and say that it is impossible for New Zealand to complete any of the international targets, whether that's the net zero or 30 by 30 UN target to protect 30% of our um, um, Earth before 2030. It's not going to happen if we don't um, articulate the role uh, of our ocean, if we don't bring the oceans uh, on this journey. And as I've noticed um, throughout this conference that we are clear on that sustainable is not enough. Just being kind of even, meeting the needs of the future generation and not depleting the, um, the current stocks is just not enough. And we need to think about how do we go beyond that sustainability um, so that beyond sustainable vision to me has to happen through nature positive solutions. And how do we do the nature positive, or like how do we create the nature positive future is first of all through removing everything, all the economic activities that lead to uh, ecosystem degradation and reverting those efforts and investing those efforts into um, the restoration and regeneration activities. Um, into how we create our economy. And that restoration that's systemic, large scale, and first of all, foundational in terms of how we approach it from our value system. Um, as we had a chance to hear about awesome projects in Ohiwa uh, Harbor and also what um, um, Claire Bradley, for instance, is doing uh, with the, within the seaweed sector. So those stories were really inspirational. And now we need to just kind of work out how, we do, how do we do it so they become the systemic thing, that there's just no other way of approaching it. This just becomes our second nation, a nature. And of course, there are challenges that we encounter on the way. We talk about differences of approaches, how do we choose the right one, uh, how do we measure the success. There's uncertainty, there's also a matter or the question, who eventually pays for it, right? So when, where does the investment come from? Fundamentally, we all know what's the right thing to do. We know that restoring our ecosystems, our marine ecosystems, is the right way to, do, to, to go, the right way yeah, of doing things. And one analogy that I, was, um, I came up with uh, talking to some of you uh, during this conference was that, um, so every day, each and every one of us brushes their teeth. Right? So you wake up in the morning, ho hopefully, right? You wake up in the morning, you go to bed at night, and you will brush your teeth. You're not studying that and asking yourself like, oh, was that a good brush? Was it a bad brush? How many benefits did I get from that brushing session? 
you just do it because you know that in the long term it makes sense. That it's not nice to yourself and it's not nice to people around you not to brush your teeth. It's, it's just like a second nature. You just don't even, you do, you do it without even thinking about it. So for the future of our oceans, I really wish that restoration and regeneration of our natural ecosystems in the marine spaces will be just that non-negotiable thing that we'll just do. It's great if we can really be precise about the, um, you know, the, the outcomes that we get from those restorative projects, but in the end, like, there's no other way. So why don't we just like, get into it and start doing it so that we don't have any of those pending regrets or the regrets that we might have learned throughout our journey um, that sort of have that massive impact and massive burden uh, throughout the rest of our lives. So I'm really looking forward to answering the questions and uh, joining my co-panelists today. Thank you.